government, Chair, which is if these people in Calais are legitimate refugees, why are they not claiming asylum in France, Italy, Spain or Greece? Why do they need to come to the United Kingdom? Um, as I'm sure you'll be aware, because I think the previous witness did say this, the vast majority of people who seek asylum worldwide, firstly, 86% of refugees and displaced people worldwide remain in the country neighbouring the one they have fled. So 86% of people remain in developing countries. Um, France received three times as many asylum applications as we did last year. Most people stop as soon as they feel safe. But the people who are making their way to the England and who specifically wish to come to the UK do so because they have ties to this country because they either have served with our military, as in the case of people from Afghanistan, or have family members, as with the Syrian client that I mentioned um, that JCWI is representing, or speak the language because of our colonial history and have other um, ties of kinship um, and history here. So there are people who have legitimate ties to the UK, and there is no good reason why they should particularly have their claims assessed in France if they do not wish to. It doesn't really work for us to say to the French that given that we're geographically located slightly to the west of you, none of these refugees are our responsibility and they're all on you because France can say the same thing and then Italy can say the same thing and then the entire international refugee protection system will crumble. So.